Yeah? Alright, so... Man said... Richard Blackwood said to me that I should start filming these now and then. Tell a couple stories and that. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Even though you see winners talking, we might add some little bits and pieces to it now. So this will be the first one. A light story. I'm not going to talk on too much. There's some things I'll never talk on, but this is just a light story um, of like a typical... 36 hours for me when I was in Lewisham when we was on the manor all the time still go there now but I'm not there like every day that we was then so start from Friday Friday we're at this, at this spot that we all go to everyone and anyone from Lewisham goes there different batches ghetto boys were there a few of them was there um, I'm there with my lot who else was there just different man all different man from ends everybody knows each other as well but everyone's outside this spot it's just finished Kiala out there everything so we finished that we're outside the place now I weren't with my drillers drillers just a couple of the man them was with me like Bones Mac was with me another one I ain't gonna say his name because I'm not gonna say his name that's bad I'll, I'll call him I'll call him Haggles so Haggles is there and a few of the others that are just there around so Haggles now I don't remember how it started but Haggles has got into it with another bod that's I love a local man we know him as well but he ain't one of our lot but he's got into it with him little arguing them two started fighting now by chance the guy he's fighting with his cousins with one of the ghetto boy them that's there as well my brethren as well the physical guy still a rough and tumble guy he just come out of jail I'll call him I'll call him Deuce so when Haggle starts fighting this guy and Deuce sees what's going on it's almost like slow motion Deuce starts removing his jacket and walking towards man all slow like like you know that like a movie like man's just preparing himself for what he's gonna do took off the jacket folded it in his arm gave it to his bridge and started walking towards the situation so Haggles has seen what's coming now Haggles is like backed off and started saying like what, what are you gonna do then Deuce has swung on him I think he clipped him in the top of his head knocked off his hat Haggles has run off into the road you know, bag of people there, Haggles is shouting like, watch, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Deuce is in the zone now, the ghetto guy, he's in the zone, sticking it on a few men, like saying, who wants it, you know what I want? Fresh out of jail, chest high, feeling wedged, sticking it on a good few men. I remember watching, saying, mm. it was a bad look for a lot of men that day, car. he probably put it on a few men and a lot of men melted, they didn't want that kind of problems. So anyway, that's done now, Haggles has run off. We've all gone about our business, I rang Haggles and said like, What's going Haggles? What I've got? And he's like, nah, this can't run. We're going back. I know your bridge is with him. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go back up there. Da, 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 da. I said just let it die on the van. It's not a big deal. Anyway, long story short, next day now, Haggles comes to check me bright and early. He's like, listen, contact that guy Deuce. We gotta go back up there, it's not done. I'm like, you sure? Yeah, so I called Deuce, said, listen, my man wants to talk to you, da 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 da, da. So Deuce is like, all right, boom. I'm up in um, Forest Hill kind of way. Come up there and we'll reason. So I've, my cousin, what can I call him? I won't give him a name. But one of my bad boy cousins, he's like, oh, he's, he went jail from like he was 15, 16. He did like an eight. He was back around and me and him used to move. So he's come with me now. I picked him up because we all lived in the same, we was all in the same kind of section. So I picked him up, we rolled, we, we grabbed Haggles, then we went up there. Um, Haggles rang his cousin as well, he's got an older cousin, his cousin come up. Again, we all know each other. So when we've got up to the bits now, we know Deuce. Every, every man that's with me knows Deuce. Deuce is our bridge and whatever. But Haggles has gone up to him and kind of said like, no, nah, I didn't like how that went. And Deuce has just said like, listen man, like fuck all of that in. Like, you tried a thing, so you got boxed. It is what it is. Like, if anything, I can call my cousin back and you two can have a little straightener and that. Called his cousin up. Called his cousin up. And, then, and so said, so done. Then man had a straightener. All us man was just watching, chilling, laughing on the car, whatever. You know. They had a little scuffle. I'll be real. On that day, my man got the better. The cousin got the better of Haggles, in. He wasn't the best weekend for Haggles. And Haggles ain't an idiot. Haggles has been up and down the country and done a couple. And, and like, he's done his jail time. Haggles is the first man I see put man in a sleeper and knock them unconscious. Yeah? But anyway, that's me just making, giving him his props. So fucking, it didn't work out for Haggles. It's gone how it's gone. Afterwards, all the man them, whatever, you know, we said, leave it at that. We jumped back in the car, man them made their way back to the ends. Me, my cousin, and Haggles. Haggles' cousin's gone off on a bike. Boom. 
Haggles is quiet in the car. Haggles starts talking, saying, boy, I'm sick. I'm not myself, I'm not myself, I'm sick. He's had a rough time. A lot of things have been going on behind the scenes. So he's not really himself. He lost a little weight and all of that. So, you know, whatever, man, I'm just saying to him, don't watch nothing, it happens. Get back to the end. Man goes in his yard, starts taking that capsules and all of that, saying, I'm sick. Ask man, say, listen, we're going to catch you later. Leave him to it. So when we get in the car, treat my cousin's a joke, and my cousin's like, I'm like, no, I'm feeling for him. My cousin just starts laughing. He goes, he ain't sick, blood. Then the, the man's taking that Centrium A to Z, bruv. That was like no fucking health tablets. So, you know, we have a little chuckle. You know how the man them are. Get to the zones now. We pick up OG. Got a Donny, OG. We pick up OG on the way. I called him OG. One of the original, original bad man them, you know. Tough fucker, militant. Don't know another man like him, brother. This man got bare wars this man's been in, but anyway. So we're rolling down now, me, OG, and my cousin, we've gone down to go and get our food on one little zones. Pull up on the zones, across the road, man sees one, one, one Don, one gunman Don, again, no names. Man's got leather gloves on, it's 27 degrees outside, rocking the leather gloves. Everybody knows how he moves, but he, give, he respects our lot, we give him his respect, it is what it is. You understand? So he comes over, picks up the man there, we're laughing, funny joke. There's a big brother across the road, one, one brother, huge, like like um like Bam Bam Bigelow, but a black brother. Huge. The brother's writing sat down and looking at him, and looking at the um at looking at gunman. So OG says to gunman, like, that brother there's writing sat down about you, and gunman's gone straight over to him and gone, hey, da 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 what you writing. My man's come over straight away. No, that's it. Um, gunman said to gunman said to him, he said to gunman, "Who told you that? Who told you I was writing down your thing? I'm writing down what I'm writing down." And gunman's just gone. Yeah, dead man over there. The brothers come bowling over. He's a big self. Bowling over, come straight over. What well, you lot said that I'm writing something down on him. So the man's just like, "Oh fuck off!" Innit? Brothers turned around, looked at the free man, them you know, free big man, you know. And he's gone, you, you, you. I'm not all of you lot out. Oh geez, let out one banshee cry like ah. And then just turned and walked off, gone in the barber shop. I don't know what he went to get. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway. Then he took another step towards man. Instinct kicked in. Bam! I banged him. Left hand. Overhand left. Felt clean. You know, and if they say when you hit something clean as you know it's going over. Out cold. Laid him out. Man them making a whole noise like raw peas, that how you going on? Like, yeah, whatever, my car is what it is. You're just in a zone. That's done now. My man's knocked out. Us man's gone about our way. Gunman's seen the play. It's all good. Jumped in the motor, gone back. Checked Haggles. My cousin and them are telling Haggles what's gone on, saying, Yeah, P just knocked out one huge brother. Knocked out one huge. Obviously, Haggles don't want to hear that right now. Haggles has just had a bad day. He ain't really trying to hear all of that. Them, he's like, How you mean huge? The man are going huge. The brother was like six, seven, six, eight, 20 stone, tick, no neck whatever leave it at that fast forward the next day everyone was separate. next day i pick up haggles say yeah man come let's go get our food we go down to the high road in the distance on the high road who does man see can't miss him it's night time the same brother that man knocked out is wham silhouette in the distance he's walking up the road away from man so i just say to haggles i say yeah that's that donny that i knocked out yesterday so watch haggles oh calling man I'm like what what are you doing that for Car, you know when you look at a man yesterday don't guarantee it's gonna go the same way today I'm just chill it's a Sunday now man just trying to be easy bad minded me but treat my doggy you get me bad minded me so anyway the brother starts turns sees man starts walking back towards him and I'm looking here we go I start looking around innit? I'm looking around thinking what am I gonna lick this brother with car yesterday was hands it don't mean today's hands I might lick you in a fucking blue borough bin in your headset brother comes down now walks up to man I'm, I'm all bracing myself like for whatever I ain't got nothing on me but my two hand and my two foot brother comes up goes it was you from yesterday innit? I said yeah I was like respect bro respect that was a, that was a, that was a mad that was a mad pump I said I say no more then he went about his business that's a typical 36 hours for me when I was on the block yeah, 